Hello, hello. Welcome back to 20 minutes of me yapping. In this week's edition, we are playing double on use again. But uh, the big difference from the other two so far is that in this key, I'm playing Incarn. Uh, I don't really like playing Convoke too much in here because on the first boss, you kind of want to use your CDs anyways to focus down the uh, the ads that the boss spawns. Like, mainly my job in this comp, for example, is to kill the ads uh, while the mage is kind of taking care of boss damage. And then uh, on the last boss as well, Convoke is completely wasted. It, it Like, every Wrath goes into, like, random ads that are running around. It's It's really bad. Um, I'm going to rewind a bit here. I roar for my tank here so you can uh, get some aggro on the adds without being too slow. I would always recommend trying to help out your tank with um, using roar and also being aware of how much aggro he's getting of these adds. I can see that he's clapping a lot. So I'm just going to dot most of the stuff. And then it was pretty unfortunate that he jumped to the right and we pulled on the left here. So I get a bit of aggro. Uh, I'm supposed to do a knock here on the side. But I have like a lot of aggro as well and I want to start doing damage. So this was pretty hectic. Ideally what I should have done was do another sunfire here. Ideally on this crawler right here, so the Sunfire also cleaves the big boy. And then I should also transmit it before popping CDs. But what I end up doing is just sending trees, cooldowns. I got my transmitter down, but because I did it late, it's now in the frontal, so it's kind of scuffed. Pick up the transmitter. And we're back. We're chilling. Recasting. Dispelling some people. Yeah, in this dungeon, you should definitely pick Dispel. Because uh, these poisons at the start that the crawlers are, are spitting out on your group actually hurts a lot. It's like pretty much the only thing that's going to kill you. Unless you guys are actually doing zero kicks. Um... I mean, there's going to be some overlaps probably if you're pugging, but um, it's definitely a very nice thing to help your, help out your group with, just to pick up Dispel here. Get up dots on everything. Uh, because I'm, I'm sun firing a lot here. A lot more than I should, probably because I expected to have trees ready, but I don't have trees ready, so... I should actually just do moon fires here instead of sun firing this many times. Trees down. We're chaining. So I don't have to worry about moonfires on these new ads. They're getting moonfired by my trees. Did a sunfire. Easy peasy. <laughs> like, look at how many dispels. Dispel myself. I'm basically keeping it on cooldown in this first area. Going to Eclipse again, Dispel, keep spamming Starfire and Starfall. Here we're going to Chain. So on this CD use, I'm still going to use my Transmitter because my Spymaster is not fully stacked yet. Uh, what I could have done here, 
actually was to I mean could I really though it's a bit of an awkward timing like if we chained two seconds later then I would have probably let my clips fall off so I could get these two dream states but instead I'm just slamming like there was two seconds until I could get my dream states back but I think this is fine as well Convoke would be good for this pull, for sure. Go next, we're pulling a lot. I'm not going to do too many moon fires on the ones in the back. Same with the crawlers on the side. I'll just let my trees do that. I can see I have a bit of aggro. I'm also getting charged, so I bark skin here. I meld for the aggro. Dispel. I'm probably going to use transmitter here. Yep. Yeah. Because I'm planning on using Spy Master with my next cooldowns. So right here. I have Transmitter. I have Trees. So I'm actually going to do a lot of damage here. We go into Boss. We pull a bit extra. Yeah, we both had CDs, so those ads got completely deleted. Just going to go into Solar Eclipse here because I don't really care about the Starfire Cleave on this crawler. Just going to do as much single target as I can. Meanwhile, these ads are uh, not spawned yet. I pop transmitter there as well. It's only 10 seconds behind my CA, so it should be fine. I'm going to use trees anyways in 10 seconds, so I'll have to wait uh, for my next trees before I pop my incarn. Yeah, it lines up perfectly. So that's pretty much the way you want to use transmitter. You you saw how I used I used transmitter on the mini boss before and then I used spy master here and then I use transmitter again off cooldown and it lines up evoker doing some spicy moves Here, I'm just playing it safe. I think I can probably squeeze in some casts here, but... I was trying to... Trying to save as much space as possible. And follow uh, the other guys. I have CDs back, so I'm going to send Transmitter here. Sunfire, trees. It took me some time to find that transmitter, so it got a bit awkward. Big starfire. Ads got two shot. Just 
just do an instant regrowth while I'm moving anyways. And then these last ads we just CC and kill the boss. Right here, I have this weak aura that tracks how many regrowths uh, I've done before procking my Blooming Infusions. And Blooming Infusions is basically just when you've done five regrowths, your next Wrath or Starfire is going to do 100% more damage and it's instant. So sometimes it's worth doing this. If you have nothing else to do before a pack. I think our healer was drinking in the back at that point. So we took this a bit slower. Here I, uh, I don't use cooldowns on this pack. Instead I use my transmitter and trees and, uh, and just let my mage carry this pull. But uh, as you'll see, just trees and transmitter actually does really solid damage. Look at this starfire here. I have dream state, UE, transmitter, and trees. Instantly just shot up 15 million. This is just my trees, by the way. The mage pup hit, popped his cooldowns here. I still have my cooldowns for next pull. This is why I love playing double in use. Because basically your whole damage revolves around your trees. And then every two minutes it revolves around your, uh, your CA convoke. Or in this case, incarn. I think this next pull we both have spy masters. So here I'm gonna just trees, incarn, spy masters, starfall, and starfire spam. And this next pull, it's probably going to be another transmitter plus trees, unless it gets too desynced. It's already kind of desynced right now. My transmitter is 1 minute 30 cooldown, and it's 1 minute until my next incarn, so it might be that I don't press it here. No, I, I press it here because we BL. I think if we didn't BL, I would probably not press it, to be honest. What a weird pull to BL, actually. None of us had cooldowns. Mage is doing tank damage. That's probably something we need to improve for next time. Oh, this blood guard is so annoying. It giving DR to the mobs around it is just, just boring. I have a feeling a frosty K would probably speed up this key a lot because of these 
big boys giving DR. At least we only had to play like two of them. Or did we play three? I think we played three actually. And then here we get into the bus room. My healer isn't here while well, I have this dot, so I'm kind of scared. Barkskin bear for him. Yeah, I, I really don't want to die when I'm playing Spy Master. Losing these 30 stacks would, uh, would probably kill my mental. So yeah, this is this is the sad part about playing Incarn. I just pop my cooldowns and I'm doing 1.5 mil. If I had Convoke here, I would be doing like 2.5 mil at this point right now. It just feels really bad how how much single target you're losing to play it. Is my VOD why does it seem so pixelated there? But yeah, this boss fight is pretty straightforward. The only thing that you, that should be killing you is these dots. Uh, basically, as a moonkin, when you get this charge, you can wild charge it if you time it right. Basically, right here, at less than a second, anything below a second and it should be fine. Um, yeah, you just watch charge, and then you also have to dodge this front until it's always going to be in you. So it's probably a good idea to pre-move. I should just keep running this direction here. Yeah, I did, okay. But yeah, this boss is pretty simple. It's just annoying how many casts you have to cancel and how much movement there is. And then every time you get this infestation, just bark skin. If you don't have bark skin, you might want to sit in bear form. All right. I have 40 stack spy master, but I refuse to pop it on this boss when I'm playing incarn. If I was playing convoke, I would honestly probably send it here. But like... It's just, it's just too shit. I don't have, yeah, I don't have bark skin there, so I have to sit in bear form, even though I still have cooldowns running. Sag. I am not losing these 40 stacks. Here I wild charge. Boom. Dodge. Dodge again. Kill the boss. And here we do a big pull. 40 stacks spy master. I don't want to use any Starfires or Rafts right now. I'm saving those dream states for my cooldowns. Okay, actually looking back at it right here, before popping cooldowns, I should probably just uh, use this instant regrowth to, uh, to get the Blooming Infusion proc.
My tank is kiting, so I put down a vortex to help him out. And then this next pull, it's going to be transmitter plus trees. And then right here, I, I thought I could wild charge over. I still think now that it's weird that I couldn't. Like, I, I even jump to get the extra height. And then I instantly get rooted while being, like, 10 meters above it. And the circle goes off and I die. Lucky for me that I only had <laughs> 9 stacks of Spy Master here. Boom. Then I fly back in style. Travel form on a bat. Or, well... Is this even a bat? Looks like a flying spider. Run back. Wild charge flap. Holy shit. I health potted. Bark skin. Actually, I didn't bark skin. Giga Chad. Didn't need it. Yeah, it makes sense that uh, my tank dies here because uh, not a lot of AoE if I'm dead. So this whole pack was just alive. I got rescued mid wild charge here. That looked weird. Here is just the standard transmitter pop. Into two target rotation, Starfall, Starfire. And then we chain to the boss. That's also the nice thing about Dispel in this dungeon. You can always just Dispel yourself while standing far out. It's basically the only time you take damage is from the dispel uh from from the uh poison and if you can just dispel it then there's basically no damage on this fight i think on this on this fight i just use my bark skins for whenever we get this root We were talking about lusting here, but, uh, but, uh, Arxis wanted it in his execute CDs. Yoink. Yeah, this is the nice thing about fluid form. Every time I need to shapeshift, it takes me one less global to get back into form. So I cat form here, and then I... Then I, in my cat form, I have Starfire and Wrath bound. 
So I just press Starfire here, and it's going to instantly take me to Moon Conform. It's actually so nice. <laughs> Look at all these ads. But yeah, even though there are all these ads, going Lunar Eclipse would just lose you boss damage, so there's no point. Like, when these ads are as, uh, like, they don't do damage. I'm pretty sure they have, like, Mythic Zero Scaling, or maybe they're intended to just not do any damage, but, yeah, they're, they're literally useless to commit any AoE into killing. Just gonna focus on boss damage here. I'm just going to pop transmitter when it comes up here. So so that my spy master is ready by the time I pop uh, my cooldowns. Wait, what am I doing? Why am I not pressing transmitter? All right, well, I should have pressed transmitter there. Cuz I'm for sure pressing spy master with my next cooldowns. But uh, I think this might be fine as well. I can press transmitter after Spy Master. And the boss should still be alive. I'm in cooldowns here, so I don't want to spend a global on dispelling myself. No need. And then right here... Transmitter comes back. I'm going to slam it instantly. Lust still going. And GG's. So yeah, that's about it. I, uh... I don't think Incarn is that great, to be honest. But in this key, Convoke just feels... Uh, I guess Convoke is only good on, like, the mini-bosses in the first area, and then the second boss. But I, I kind of prefer Incarn for the rest. Even though Incarn does seem to be... I would say slightly worse than Convoke. You just lose too much single end prio in general. But I think in this key, having big AoE is probably more worth. But uh, yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.